Hey, hey, I'm Dakota Lloyd, and this is Music News featuring music stories that you need to know about. As always, we're brought to you by Hello Merch, and this week we're not in love. Just kidding, we're in love with 10CC, that is, who just opened a new merch shop through Hello. If you're new to the band, they go far beyond the 1975 mega hit. From their art pop early days to their progressively minded 70s and 80s heyday, 10CC has always kept it focused on art for art's sake. And along the way, they inspired artists like Jay Dilla. Does this sound familiar? We've got a ton of 10cc goodies in stock, and the band is out on the road now, led by Graham Goldman. They hit the Marquee Theater in Tempe on August 12th, so don't miss them. In other news, Desert Days has announced its 2024 lineup featuring Jack White, Cigarettes After Sex, Alex G, Thundercat, and so many more, including Wastoid's favorites Frankie and the Witch Fingers, Molchat Doma, and Say Shishi, who actually just dropped a new 7-inch of a nice Jackson Sisters cover through Hello. The festival goes down October 10th through the 13th at Lake Paris, California. Moving on, Stephen Malkmus of Pavement, Jim White of the Dirty Three, Emmett Kelly of the Cairo Gang, and Matt Sweeney, host of my favorite YouTube show, Guitar Moves, have announced a new supergroup, the Hard Quartet. This week, they dropped a claymation music video for the song Earth Hater, crafted by iDress in the collaboration with Baby Cry Animations. Take a look. <laughs> Here's hoping this means more hard quartet music on the horizon. And to close, it's time to get to know Phoenix indie rock band Thank You Maxo. Caught these guys a few weeks back at Linger Longer Lounge and I was hooked. We invited Maxo and the crew up to the loft studio to hang out, tell us more about the band, and perform two songs from their latest album, 23. Hey, I'm Max from Thank You Maxo. We've all played in different configurations and different bands together for the last few years. I went to music school with our bass player, Bailey. We both play the upright bass, but Thank You Maxo as a project has existed for about a year and a half. I play the tenor guitar, Jordan plays a five string electric mandolin, and then we got drums and bass. <laughs> We asked Maxo about his life in Phoenix and the creative community here in the city. I grew up uh, at Third Street in Thomas. I went to school downtown and I've been hanging out uh, in downtown Phoenix my whole life. It's changed a lot and it's changed really fast. My parents' neighborhood is totally unrecognizable. It used to be a whole bunch of shitty houses with dirt lots and now it's uh, luxury apartments all over the place. I grew up playing at the Lost Leaf and Carly's when I was 14 years old and uh, losing those two venues in the last year has been really hard along with the trunk space. A lot of spaces that w we used to occupy are now something else. Well, I grew up uh, going to shows at at the trunk space and uh, doing First Friday stuff downtown. So I feel like I have deep roots in the community in that way. But in another way, um, I kind of stepped out of that world and was in the gigging professional music wedding world for a while now. And it's nice to be kind of dipping my toes back in. So I'm still trying to um, meet my people. So what's the goal with Thank You Maxo? We asked Max what drives the band and got a little insight into the recording process. We're trying to have as much fun as possible every time we hang out and every time we play. So I feel like that's really um, important to all of us. We recorded uh, all that stuff in uh, one day at our friend Sam's house. His, he's Soap Cheese on the internet. And um, I love working with him because he's totally taps into our style of set up some mics and let's see what happens and have a ton of fun on a Wednesday afternoon. Um, so I really like working with him and we've recorded some stuff at the ASU downtown studio and, um, with our friend, Tony Brandt, totally. I'm really new to the, um, the DIY recording thing. Um, but it's really nice to have someone like Sam, um, walking me through it and understanding how to put me and my friends in a situation where we'll sound our best. Try to have as much fun as possible and roll around on the floor and, um, and, and go for it. If you reach out, you can touch it. But that doesn't mean it's real. As someone who grew up playing jazz, what inspired the raw indie rock sound of Thank You Max? Well, the truth is that I wrote a lot of these songs and I brought them into jazz 
combos and stuff and they just never landed and they just didn't sound right on the freaking saxophone so it took me um trying to write some lyrics to them for them to work so i mean i grew up listening to you know nirvana and pavement or whatever but i think that it, mostly the music was the music i was listening to when i wrote that music is was largely like wc or um ornette coleman or something yeah. even though they don't share any of the sonics um that's kind of where my head was at i grew up listening to some like black flag and minor threat and the Minutemen were a big influence for me early on so i kind of thought like what if i do my mix muser mix meter music school brain thing with that sound and my favorite jazz bass player charlie hayden played a show with the Minutemen, and there's a horrible fidelity recording on youtube of it and to close what's next for thank you maxo um i'm playing a show with a magician next month so that'll be that'll be really fun steve strange steve is awesome i grew up watching him do his horror show and you know eating glass and putting stuff through his cheek and stuff and i just uh i want to see if i can get kicked out of the linger longer lounge next month we just made a music video uh with my buddy uh from high school john bresnahan two weeks ago i had a inguinal hernia surgery and i w had the the luck of being able to keep my hospital gown so i we went into the desert and we did a music video that's cowboy theme but i'm in my wheelchair with the hospital gown to watch thank you maxo's full performance of song b and song five so quirky be sure to check out our video library or just head over to wastoids.com where you'll find more podcasts and videos take it easy and you'll hear from me again next week whether you like it or not decoy that doesn't mean it's real a whole building wrapped in plastic